very warm welcome to Minister's Message Christmas Special. The last video we did was at the end of the summer, so let me just uh, give you a wee uh, recap as to what's been happening over the last few weeks, especially on the run-up to Christmas. Uh, we were really privileged to be in Crakehill Primary School in Tain uh, in the middle of December, running Christmas Unwrapped for the second time. Uh, we've been able to uh, do it in another school last year and Easter Cracked. Uh, but on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we were able to be in that school sharing the real story of Christmas. We wanted to drive home two main points to the children and to the staff who were listening in as well. Two questions. Who is Jesus? He is the Son of God. And what did he come to do to save us from our sins? You're seeing the three uh, pictures of the volunteers who helped on these various days. Uh, in, the, in with Mary and Joseph at the stable, the shepherds in the pens, uh, a wee game that the children had to do after they heard the story of the shepherd's account. And then in the tent with the wise men where they were able to with a, make a craft of gold, a wee treasure chest of gold, frankincense and myrrh. Uh, and so it was just a great opportunity to interact with these young folk and share with them the good news of great joy about Jesus Christ. We've had uh, Christmas lunches going on at both Hilton and in Tain. Uh, the Hilton lunch has been running weekly of the school term throughout the year. And the Tain lunch resumed in 2023 and uh, was running monthly. And Lord willing, uh, both of these lunches will be running weekly throughout the school term uh, in 2024. So we look forward to that. But thank you so much uh, to all of those who have been volunteering, who have helped provide with soups and, and serving on the days. Thank you uh, so much. It's a great, uh, a great way for us to interact with our community. And do come along if you're watching this. Uh, these lunches are free. So please come and invite others. It'd be great to see you at them. We've had a Christmas sermon series running over the last uh, few weeks. It's called The Signs for Christmas, so we've uh, seen the angels and the star and we'll be at the manger on Christmas Eve on Sunday morning. So why don't you come along or invite others to come to that service uh, as well. On Sunday evening we have our carol service, our community carol service in the Seaboard Hall. Uh, so please uh, come along to that, share it, there's posters online. There's uh, leaflets around the community. Uh, you'll be made most welcome. Uh, it's at five o'clock. There'll be singing, carols, mince pies. Uh, Alistair will be sharing the message on Sunday evening. So it'll be great uh, as we work together with uh, the other congregations throughout the community as well. Uh, so do come along uh, for a Christmas Eve service um, as we anticipate and remind ourselves the real a reason for the season. As we uh, continue to think about all that's been uh, going on uh, throughout this past uh, month, especially in December, we've had, uh, and as our parents and children have had so many different events going on, uh, we're so thankful for the young folk throughout our congregation uh, and our youth fellowship. It's just a joy to spend time with them. And we were able uh, to have a good night at uh, the farm down here in the Seaboard Villages a few weeks ago uh, with a fire going and some marshmallows and some sausage rolls. A uh, great time of fun and games uh, and fellowship with these guys and I think the two ministers enjoyed themselves. We are thankful, uh, most importantly, to the Lord our God for another year, uh, for how he has sustained us, helped us and uh, blessed us so much as a congregation at Tain and Fern Free Church. Uh, to whom much is given, much is required. Uh, so we want to uh, truly uh, thank the Lord for his graciousness to us, his kindness for seeing in this year souls being saved, brought into the kingdom of God. Uh, that's our great desire is to see men and women and boys and girls being saved from their sins, giving their lives to Jesus. And it is a privilege, let us never forget it, to see and to uh, be used by God in even the smallest of ways 
to just be part of the fellowship here of God's people. So let us continue to praise the Lord, to keep our eyes on him as we enter into a new year, to keep our focus on who he is and what he has done. You may receive uh, many gifts. You may be giving away many gifts this Christmas. I've shared with some of the schools, uh, the school pupils over the last few weeks, this scarf. It's a gift I bought for uh, somebody in my family. I was very on the ball with my presents. I, I wasn't uh, responsible for purchasing too many of them, but this one I did. This is, comes from one of our uh, churches in the denomination in Portree Free Church, so you can buy this yourself to help them with their fundraising. Uh, it's a scarf and it's an official tartan that they've had made and it's the tartan is now called amazing grace and every color on this tartan is symbolic it has a meaning behind it and so you need to go and purchase this to find all the meanings there's six colors let me just tell you three of them so this you won't be able to see it too clearly but there's a dark gray and that dark gray surely resembles for us the darkness the brokenness of our world none of us needs really for that to be spelt out. We see it in the news screens, we see it in our town and villages, we see it in our own hearts, surely, uh, most, uh, most obviously. So there is sin in this world, there is sin in our hearts. But this red line that penetrates through the scarf takes us to the cross at Calvary. Yes, Jesus, this is the good news of great joy. Jesus is born into this world, but that baby doesn't stay a baby. He grew, lived a perfect life, and went to the cross to save us, to save our lives, to take away our sins. His blood cleanses us, was poured out for us, if we believe in him. And there is this gold thread that goes all the way through the scarf. You have to look closely to see it, but the gold thread brings us to glory. Uh, it's what is promised for God's people. There, those who believe in Jesus, he has gone to prepare the place for us. And this is where he will come back and take us to. John Newton, who wrote this hymn, it begins, amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. And it concludes about glory when we've been there 10,000 years, bright shining as the sun. We've no less days to sing God's praise than when we first began. Well, I do hope and pray you have a blessed Christmas and a happy new year.